a Swift UI loading animation. We will create this animation by animating two elements. One, we will animate the pencil icon to rotate itself. We will also animate the circle to draw and erase itself. So let's get started. To set any object in motion in Swift UI or to move any object, you will need a state. Over here, let's define a state. We call this state rotate. The value you see here is the initial state of the rotation. We are going to use the state to animate the pencil icon to rotate from one angle to another angle. So we have set the initial angle of rotation to minus 135. Let's create another state. For this, we will call it draw erase and set the initial state to zero. We are going to use draw erase to animate the circle to draw and erase itself. You can see over here in the code, we have the circle with all these properties. We have the stroke and frame, which defines the size. We also have an SF symbol, which is the pencil icon. It also has two modifiers, the font, which is defined as 64, and the foreground color. We have the conditions here because over here, I'm using the color indigo, which is only available in iOS 15. Let's start animating the two elements. Before we do that, let's resume. Over here, we are going to add the task modifier. We can use the task modifier in iOS 15 to trigger animations automatically. So let's add it after the frame modifier. In the block, we are going to bring the two states. So let's bring the first one. For the rotation animation, we will set the final state to 405. And for the drawing and erasing animation, we will set the final state to 1. Next, in order to see this animation, we have to use the animation modifier. So just above the task modifier, let's add the animation modifier. For the easing function, let's use ease in out, the one that has duration, and set the duration of this animation to one second. We also want to delay this animation for a period of one second. And repeat the animation forever. For the parameter auto reverses, we will set it to true. To animate the circle, we are going to use the trim modifier. The trim modifier has to be the first modifier for the circle. So over here, we are going to add it. Let's select the one that has the parameter from and to. The from parameter is the stroke start. So let's set it to zero and the two parameter is the stroke end. By default, it is set to one. So now we can copy the state and use it to animate any of the parameters, the from value or the to value. Let's use the to value. I'm going to replace the value with the state. We get an error. By clicking on the error, we can fix it. You can now see we have the circle drawing and erasing itself with a duration of one second and a delay of one second. Let's copy the animation modifier for the circle and paste it on the pencil icon. We want both the circle and the pencil icon to have the same animation duration and delay and also the same easing function. Next, we are going to use the state rotate to animate the rotation effect of the pencil icon. Above the animation modifier, we can add the rotation effect. We can set the angle of rotation in degrees or in radians. Let's use degrees. 
For the angle of rotation, we are going to use the state. So let's copy the state, rotate, and paste it here. We still get an error. By clicking here, we can fix it. So you can now see the pencil icon also rotates from an angle of minus 135 degrees to an angle of 405 as the circle draws and erase itself. But this is not the end. If we don't like the easing function, we can replace them and use a custom easing function. That is what we are going to do next. Let's put a comment on the animation modifier for each element. So that means now there is no animation. Let's add the animation modifier again to each element. For now we are going to use a custom timing curve. So let's select this one. Let's remove all the parameters. We are going to replace the parameters with cubic basic values. So let's bring the browser and go to the website easens.net. From here, you can get different easing functions for your Swift UI animation. The one we are looking for is this one. By clicking on the graph, we expand it. All we need is to copy the cubic Bezier parameters. So let's start from here and select up to here and press Command C to copy. Then we come back to the code and paste them here. Let's repeat the animation forever by adding the repeat forever modifier and set the parameter auto reverses to true. You can see the animation is very fast, but we can use the speed modifier to reduce the speed of this animation. The speed modifier must be added before the repeat forever modifier. So over here, I'm going to add it. So we can set the speed to 0.2 seconds. And this is what we are looking for. So let's copy the animation we just added and use it on the pencil icon. So over here, I'm going to paste it. So just by changing the easing function, we have created a different look for this loading animation using SwiftUI.